Hi everybody. So today we are going to discuss some climate variation and climate patterns. Uh, before that, I want to discuss why we use oxygen 18 isotope as measure of temp climatic temperature. So oxygen 18 has 8 protons and 10 neutrons. 8 protons and 10 neutrons in it. Unlike normal oxygen isotope O16, which has 8 protons and 8 neutrons. If you know that neutron has higher mass, has higher weight than that of proton. So if we increase the number of neuton, neutrons even by just 2, we have this isotope higher in weight than this one. So the water molecules H2O18 formed by the heavier oxygen isotope would be heavier in weight or in mass than that of H2O16. Okay. Now, since there is difference in the weight, there would be difference in the uh, evaporation and, uh, and the vapor pressure. As you know, this H2O18 has higher weight than H2O16, which would mean that this molecule here would be more attracted towards the gravity. When it is more attracted towards the gravity, it's difficult or it's need, it needs more energy to go up into the sky by evaporation. So if there at particular temperature, there is evaporation happening, there is more tendency of H2O16 to evaporate and go into condensation form into clouds rather than H2O18, right? So what it means is in the clouds, we will have more H2O16 com components than H2O18. Now when these clouds move over to polar regions and they form ice because of higher condensation and lower pressure there, what happens is the ice that forms there will be enriched in H2O16 than 18. So in the C, what would remain mainly would be H2O18 and not H2O16. So C would gain more and more H2O18. So finally, the corals available uh, or living inside the sea in the ocean would start trapping the H2O18 particles. So over a long period of time, we noticed that the concentration of H2O18 has been changing in oceans. So why we take it as measure of temperature? Because if there is higher temperature, there would be more evaporation. Okay, evaporation will be higher and content of H2O18 in C would be higher because H2O16 will evaporate, right? So there is direct link between temperature and H2O18 molecule. Higher is the temperature or higher is the sea surface temperature, higher would be the H2O18 value. So this, is, this proxy can be considered as measure of temperature and it go back to thousands of years and it proved it has proven to be very good measure of temperature thank you